I'll introduce y'all to Molly. Come here, Moss. Come here, girl. Yeah. She's worthless. She's worthless. Not like the rest of us. And there's Ella. Always got a stick in her mouth. You gonna let me have it? Uh huh. You let me have it? You gonna fetch? You wanna get the stick? Molly, you want the stick? Who wants it? Who's gonna get it? Oh man, did you see that energy? Come here, you gonna bring it back? No? Too hot for that game, ain't it? You say hi, Roger? Hey. Roger likes to ride in the front of the truck.
What the cow's doing? Got a few little heifers here. Yearlings. And down here on the end, we got T-Bone. Hey, T-Bone. T-Bone was a bottle calf that my wife stayed up and kept alive because his mama abandoned him. She won't let me do nothing with him, so he just sits here and eats. There's Sadie. She's worthless too, but we love her. Come here, Sadie. No, not today. Okay. Flies are tearing y'all up, ain't they? Don't you kick me. Hey. Don't. story about Roger here he wasn't our dog I don't know until three years ago I guess maybe four now come in from work one day and he's out in the field chasing the cows I run him off A couple days later, he's back. I run him off. I tell my wife, I was like, we're going to have to do something. You know, can't have him out there chasing the cows all the time. This man is like, all right. He didn't have no collar on, no nothing. We just figure he's stray. We load him up, take him, give him to our nephews. Well, come find out he wasn't a stray. He belonged to uh, the local sheriff. And our sheriff was out doing a ride around with the neighbor in town. And he pulls up and here's his dog in these other people's yard. And he's like, what the heck? So they tell him where they got the dog. He comes to me. I'm like, man, I didn't know it was your dog. I apologize. I'll bring him home. I go get him, take him back. A couple days later, he's back at my house. This goes on for quite some time. Finally, we just, my youngest boy was calling him Roger. It just kind of stuck. We ended up moving, just took him with us. <laughs> oh boy, that he belonged to. So, well, I guess he just wanted to be with you more than he did me. So, Roger kind of picked us instead of us picking him out. It worked out real good for everybody, I think. I'm sure he had a loving home where he was at, but he gets to chase cows now when he's with me. He don't, he's good, he don't, he don't go out and do it on his own. He, he waits till we're working or we're doing something. He acts like he knows what's going on. He's a smart dog. I, uh, I shot a little old buck last year. 
trail blood till I just I just about give up. I took him down there with me. Come got him, took him down there and he uh He found a little spot of blood and just laid down. I thought he'd just lay in there because he's kind of lazy. But I went over to where he was at, petted him, told him good boy. He got up and he trotted 25, 30 yards, laid down again. I just, hmm. so I followed him. He blood trailed that deer, led me straight to that thing. Just like he had good sense and knew what was going on. So. He's a good dog. I think he's got some healer in him. I don't know, he's got some big old jaws. Like he might have a little bit of pit bull or something. I don't know, he's smart though. He's a good dog. We're glad to have him around. Roger, can you talk? You're not gonna talk? Hey, can you talk for me? No? There's Ella and Molly again. Ella got a bottle of water this time. <laughs> 